Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing the long-awaited Valentine's Day Jeffree Star mystery box unboxing. I had so much fun doing this for Halloween so I knew I wanted to do this for Valentine's Day as well and I have seen a couple of the spoilers. I'm not sure how I feel but I don't want to put anything out there until I actually open it up and see and get an idea of what we're working with. I apologize if I sound a little off today. I am getting over a rather awful cold. So we are trying to get through this video together. This is the first time I've put on makeup in probably a week because I just keep sneezing, but I really wanted to open these up for you guys and I'm so, so excited. They just got here literally five minutes ago. If you are interested in watching the Halloween mystery box unboxings, I will link that in the cards and in the description. But let's go ahead and jump into the first box. This is the white box. I can never remember the names of which one is which, but this is the smaller of the two. So we open it up. We got some cute tissue paper that matches the hearts on the outside. I actually really like this tissue paper. It's kind of cute. Here is the overview. Lots of goodies. Let's get into it. First things first, we have the Supreme Frost in shade Hypothermia. I actually don't know what the shade is. I really like the Supreme Frost though. They are so fun. They just look so good. Oh my gosh, stop. It's purple. It's a purpley gold highlighter. It looks more gold in camera, but it has a very pinky purple reflect to it. You can kind of see very pretty. Okay, off to a good start. Let's see, next item. This is the box exclusive lip in Pink Kitten. So this is the exclusive for the mystery boxes. Oh my goodness, look how cute. It's kind of like a metallic reddish pink. Does anyone know Poinsettia, Poinsettia, Poinsettia from the holiday lip bundle forever ago? Oh, that's pretty, that's pretty. Very metallic-y pink shade. Um, I want to say these might be a little bit on the older side just because mine was a little dry. I'm not even going to lie. Like it was a little dry, but it's a pretty color nonetheless. I think it'll be fun. Okay, let's see. We have the Jeffree Star skin card and we actually have a date this time. I think in the last box they had a spoiler, but there was no date. So this actually comes out in a couple weeks, which is super exciting. I'm crazy particular about what I put on my skin, so I don't know if I'm going to try anything, um, but I guess I will wait and see the reviews of all of that before. Uh, we have a lip liner in Posh Spice. This is a nude. I'm going to rip the box a little bit because I'm going to keep this for myself. So I don't mind if I rip the box. Can't get it open. Okay, so Posh Spice is this kind of taupey nude shade. Almost like a brown. Sorry, I have my eyeliner. Ignore if my wings look awful today. I lost my good eyeliner. I normally like the MAC one and I lost it and every other black eyeliner I have is like dried out and crusty. So it was a pain in the butt to get these wings on, but they're on. Not the cutest, but they're there. Uh, let's see, what do we have next? A Magic Star setting powder uh, in lavender. This is more of a correction shade. I can't remember what you use lavender for. I do use the yellow concealer I got in the last box actually all the time. I'm not sure what the lavender is good for, but it's a really pretty lavender shade. I'm sure I'll figure it out. I wonder if it says on the back. No, I'll have to Google it. I'll have to figure out what you use lavender setting powder for, but lavender setting powder, you can never go wrong with a good purple. Are we ready for another exclusive? If any of you guys watched my last unboxing, the Halloween mystery boxes, the exclusives are what get me. But it's a heart-shaped purse. Like, come on. This is so freaking cute. I'm obsessed. Oh, that is super cute. So it's kind of like a crossbody. It has the straps. You can add the strap to it. Uh, it's a little bit disformed, but... It should be easy enough to pop back in. It's actually really cute. It looks like a candy heart. Valentine's Day bag 2022. 
I cannot throw it, maybe. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. We did get a mini breaker palette. I do have the mini breaker already, but it is one of my favorite palettes. So I could keep this as a backup. If anyone's interested in a mini breaker, by the way, let me know. Um, I will list it on Poshmark for you if you want it. Uh, but otherwise I might just keep it as a backup because I really like the mini breaker. I'm trying to figure out how to open it. There we go. This one, I don't even know if it's still available or not, but it is super cute. It's just a little nine pan. You got some neutrals, some purples, this mustard shade, perfection. Same with this orange shade. I used that one a lot last year in my Panos eyeshadows. Um, I used that with some shades from the actual Jawbreaker palette. We have four singles. Now the singles, I really liked getting them the past couple, um, what do you call it? The past couple mystery boxes because I got some in the summer of last year and then we got some in the Halloween boxes and now in this one. My one complaint is that they're all pre-existing shades that are already in some of his palettes. I think it would have been really cool if he did um, new shades or exclusive shades. These shades I got are Poison Ivy, which is this lime shimmer shade, uh, Root Canal, which is this deep plum from Blood Sugar, uh, The Morgue, which is this grayish taupe color from Cremated, and Chameleon Fetish, which is also from Blood Money. But I would also like to see something new and something different because I've gotten Poison Ivy in probably every single mystery box since the summer. So uh, I do like to create single palettes, so I do have a Jeffree Star single palette that I've been filling up. Okay, now it is time for Miss Orgy palette. Am I allowed to say that word on YouTube? Here she is in all of her glory. It is beautiful. I've wanted this palette for Ever. I wanted it when it came out, but I couldn't justify it because I think it's like $65 and it's all nude shades and it's like I have nudes in every palette, but I'm very excited that this was in the box. So now I don't have to buy it. Here she is. All of these beautiful nude shades. It's such a basic B palette, but like everyone needs a basic B palette, you know, like Look at this. And I like the range in here. It goes pretty light. You have like your fair, your light, your medium, dark, and deep, like rose, which is really nice. You have lots of variety in here and it's all matte. You can never have enough mattes. So here she is. I'm excited to have her in my collection, Miss Orgy. And we have another lip bundle. This is the purple lip bundle. Let's go ahead and open her up. Look at these. <gasps> Look at this one. This one's like metallic pink. I'm vulgar. Okay, that shade. Stunning. Look at all these purples and pinks. Look at them. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited about this. Praise the heavens. How exciting. I think this was from the Bloodlust collection. And now we are on to the second box. Okay, let's open her up. We have some beautiful tissue paper matching the outside. And then we have, this is, uh, this is the box, all in her glory. Another Jeffree Skin card. Remember, February 25th, 2022, couple weeks. We have another nude bundle. This is the volume one, I believe, because I have the volume two. But look at these. I actually really like the nude bundles. In this one, you're getting skin tight mannequin, celebrity skin. I'm obsessed with celebrity skin. Uh, Posh Spice, which is the same as the lip liner I got in the first box. Rose Matter, Gemini, Leo, and Androgyny. I've actually been wearing Androgyny a lot recently too. I have a full size of that one. But these are so fun. I need to find a way to display these. So if you guys have these and display them, let me know how you do it because I need to know. We have a Supreme Gloss in 
improper. I love the Supreme Gloss formula. They're so glossy and creamy and they don't get sticky. They're just very smooth. And oh, this is super pretty. This is like a mauvey purple. It's kind of like androgyny almost. Really pretty shade. Can we swatch it? Let's go swatch it. Oh, look how creamy those are. That's pretty. That's beautiful. I love purple lipsticks. They're great. Everybody's favorite thing, the box exclusive uh, palette. This is, I believe, the Heartbreaker. Yes, the Heartbreaker Skin Frost Highlighter Palette. So this is a box exclusive item. He's been doing, uh, he wanted to do this again uh, because a lot of people really liked when he did it a couple years ago. This is what the packaging looks like. I'll be honest, I'm not a huge fan of how this looks, but I do like the Skin Frost formula. Uh, these are the shades. So we have like a peachy nude, a pink, and then this is like in between like a plum and a brown. So this one's gonna be a little bit too dark for me. I would imagine using that one as like a blusher bronzer. Um, and then these two more as blush shades. I think this would definitely be more of like a blush shade. Uh, but these shades in here are Single Forever, Murderous Fun, and Frosty Heart. Really fun. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this in the original box because limited edition, can't mess it up. We got a clothing item. I did not know what the apparel item was when I ordered this, so I did order it in a large. That way, if it was a shirt, it would be oversized. If it was a sweatshirt, it'd be oversized. It is a t-shirt. Um, large is probably big, big size for me, so I'll probably put it in the dryer, but the front has this little heart, broken heart logo, and on the back we have a uh, heartbreaker, and then the Jeffree Star logo with the heart. Uh, I like the shirts to wear to work because I don't mind if I get color or mess them up or anything. Um, they're just comfy and basic, and I don't feel bad about messing them up. So that will probably be a new work shirt for me. We have another Orgy palette. This one I'm going to leave in the wrapping and I'm going to list this on my Poshmark if anyone wants one. Let me know, I will take offers on any of it. So let me know. We have a, another exclusive lip and this one is different than the one that was in the first box. This is Cutthroat Love and this looks like it's going to be a brown shade. So this is, oh, this is so cute. It's like a reddish brown right up my alley. Stop, look at that. That is, oh girl, that's pretty shade. That almost looks like unicorn blood a little bit. That's pretty. Look at all these fun things. It's like Christmas up in here. I cannot even tell you how excited I was for this box. <laughs> I was waiting by the door all day, literally doing my makeup when I saw the UPS truck drive up the hill near my house. And uh, that way when I was done doing my makeup, my box would be here and I could film. Um, next, we got this another exclusive item. It is a star ring light for your phone, I believe. So I think you can clip it onto your phone um, so you can take selfies with it. This one I'm actually think I'm gonna take to work to help take pictures of people's hair when it gets dark out. But this is what she looks like. I'm not sure how you turn it on. <gasps> Ooh, look at that. Look how cute. I'd show you on my phone, but you guys are on my phone. That is fun, a little star ring light. Has a few different settings and then it comes with a charging cord because it is wireless. Okay, that's cute, that's cute. I'm gonna take this to work. I'm gonna take pictures of people's hair. Uh, let's see, we have some more singles and these ones oh, are different than the ones I got in the other box. These are actually shades I really like. So Private Island is this kind of olive matte. Um, this one I believe is from Blood Money. We have a couple shades from the new Weirdo palette. Freak Show, Razor Blade, and 1985. So those are these ones. Razor Blade I like. 
I'm not opening these up just because I want to see which singles I already have. And if I have duplicates, I will be listing them on my Poshmark. Um, and then kind of rearranging my singles accordingly. And then the last single I got is Divine Intervention, which I want to say is from Cremated, but I'm not positive. We have another lip liner. This is in the shade Calabasas, which is a city that Jeffree Star used to live in. I think he lives in Wyoming exclusively now, maybe. I don't know if he actually sold his house. Um, I don't keep up with that. Okay, so I think the issue I had with the other one was I just opened it from the wrong end because this one was very easy to manipulate out of there. So Calabasas is this rosy, ooh, rosy pink shade. That is this one right here. Again, I don't know if people typically swatch in unboxings, but they're fun, so I will. Next, we have a Magic Star Concealer. I do want to uh, compare. Okay, so this one's in the shade yellow, and the one I got previously is pale yellow. So we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of compare and contrast. Okay, so here is the yellow. Here is the pale yellow. I don't know if the yellow will work on my skin tone. I mean, I guess we can always try. I really like the pale yellow though. So I'm intrigued, intrigued. We have a velvet trap in the shade Celebrity Skin, one of my favorites. It's a beautiful matte brown. I love the velvet trap formula. It's really nice and soft and reminds me a lot of the MAC Powder Kiss formula. We got a Velour Lip Scrub. This one is in the shade Strawberry Gum. I love the Velour Lip Scrubs. I use them every single day. I'm currently trying to finish up my Witch's Brew one from Halloween. Let's go ahead and smell it. I, I'm weird about that. I always have to smell them. Oh, that smells... Oh, I was just going to like turn it so you could smell it, but I realize you can smell it because you're in the camera. But it smells good. I approve. It smells like strawberry shortcake. Like... Did anyone have the strawberry shortcake DVDs as a kid that like the inside of the cases, the covers smelled like strawberry? That's what this smells like. Oddly niche thing. Some of you will know what I'm talking about. Uh, we have two The Glosses, one of my favorite formulas. Um, <clears throat> I say that about just about everything Jeffrey comes out with, but I love his formulas. He does really good. So this first one's from the Cremated Collection. It's called Heaven's Gate. Heaven's Gate is this really pretty pearlescent white shade. This will be a good topper. Um, any lip color can be spiced up with this. Very lovely. And then we have Let Me Be Perfectly Clear, which if I'm correct, is just going to be a basic clear gloss. Uh, but you can never go wrong with a clear gloss. Again, I used to wear clear gloss over everything. I used to go through clear gloss like it was nobody's business. And that is what that is. Yep, just a clear gloss, not bad, not bad. And last but not least, everybody's favorite items, hand mirrors. I can stop making a mess. Guys, my beauty room is a disaster because of this box unboxing. There's packaging and bubble wrap and stuff everywhere. And my husband's gonna come home and think I trashed the place. I mean, he's kind of right, but I really like the box part of this, how it has the candy hearts. And then we have the luxurious Heartbreaker mirror. You know I love a good mirror. Come on, guys. You knew I was going to get this box just because of the mirror. Heartbreaker. It's a cute heart. Very beautiful. I love it. Well, that is all for today's video, guys. If you did enjoy, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Let me know what you got in your box variations, if you got any of these boxes, and let me know if there's any other mystery boxes out there in the world you want me to unbox. Uh, Lunar Beauty's coming out with one. Should I get it? Maybe I should. It was so great chatting with you all today, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye, guys!